Hey everybody, Troy here. I want to talk really quick about picking dynamics today. Uh, to me, there's nothing more important in a guitar player's toolbox than picking dynamics. And what we can bring to the table with the right dynamics, really, uh, there's nothing that matches this quality in a guitar player. And I think that the wider we can get our dynamic range, the better. And I want to show you a couple things that uh, I do to practice this and things that I've done over the years to improve my picking dynamics. And we'll use uh, the song No Longer Slaves by Bethel uh, as an example here. And I washed this song out pretty good with reverb and delay, kind of like everything. Uh, but the key here with picking dynamics is realizing what it does for our just basic tone. So in its most basic sense, picking dynamics give us, can give us a very nice clean tone when picked lightly. Or, the harder we go, the harder we pick, the more overdrive we get out of stuff, which means that we can set our amp to be pretty gainy and then reduce the amount of gain that it's actually shining through the signal by reducing the pressure in which we're picking the string. So here's an example from very light to very, very hard. All right, so an example of basically squeaky clean to pretty raunchy with the same exact amplifier setting, didn't add any pedals, didn't do anything uh, to the signal, except pick softer or harder. Now, the other piece of this is we need to realize what it can do for us when we start adding in delay and reverb. So when I look at uh, a song like No Longer Slaves, my, my tone, because I like to fill up a lot of space on it, is basically this. So lots of reverb, lots of delay, uh, it tails on for a while, but uh, one of the, the main hooks in that song is this part here. What I'm able to do with that is I set up uh, a pretty heavy delay, heavy reverb, but I'm picking lightly, which allows the, the transient, so the first part of the note is going to come out but then the delay and reverb are gonna kind of take over from there and, and help create that wash. Now, what happens when I start picking too hard with this type of uh, effect setup is that the delay and reverb are going to get ridiculous. They're gonna just smear everything to the point that it's basically unusable. The big point here is if you wanna have that washy type tone, especially when you're playing clean uh, for these more ambient style uh, parts, if you want that washy tone, you need to really watch your picking dynamics and keep them soft because that's going to help the delay and reverb kind of do their job without muddy and everything up. So I'll show you that part really quick. I'll, I'm going to pick it very hard right now and show you how gross this can get. All right, so things are getting a little bit out of control there. Um, I'm going to back off the dynamics now to where they should be and kind of show you how nice the delay and reverb can kind of work together when you're giving them room by not overpicking. Now to dissect that part even more, I'm picking the first handful of notes pretty lightly, but when I hit the high E string, I'm picking that one a bit harder to make it pop out. So another thing with picking dynamics is that you're going to use them to make certain notes stick out in the mix more than others. And I know it seems very basic, very elementary that I'm saying this, but some guitar players, when they play, it's like they have a flat line like this. And that's their dynamic range. It's just, I pick the same way every time, uh, not concerned with what notes are popping off the fretboard like they should. And, and a, a good guitar player, what they're going to bring to the table is that, a, that ability to affect the song with their picking dynamics and to make parts better. All right, so a good way to practice picking dynamics then. So we always got to take the concept and, and break it down, make it very practical and say, okay, how do, I, how do I practice this? 
uh, in a way that's going to help me develop the skill when it comes game time. And, and what I do is I'll turn on like a basic overdrive, uh, something real light. So uh, this, this tone here, basic, and then with a boost. So it gets pretty, pretty heavy there. What I'll do is I'll turn that drive on and I'll play a song like No Longer Slaves with it on the entire time, which will make me have to really just stretch out my picky dynamics to where if I want it squeaky clean, I'm going to need to pick super, super light. So it's going to help me develop that really, really light touch. So I'm going to give that a shot real quick on this part and um, we'll have the overdrive on. And I'll, again, leave the overdrive on the whole song to get the overdrive that you want when you need it. And then when you want to clean things up, you have to do it entirely with your picking dynamics. So let's try that. All right, so I'm picking about as light as I can there without the pick falling out of my hands. And it's, uh, it's still a lot more gainy than I would want. But it's good practice, so I'll, I'll pick that up to the normal dynamic level that I would use when the overdrive is off to see, to let you compare the two. So the super feather-light touch I used, and then now I'm going to pick normally, I guess, um, with the regular dynamics that I would use in this song. And you'll see the difference in the gain that's coming out of, out of the signal here. So that's a good exercise to practice picky dynamics. Uh, that was pretty challenging for me to have that pedal on and play that part because that part is very, very feather light, um, super light touch, really ambient. And to have that overdrive on there and try to accomplish the same tone and dynamic level was extremely hard. So uh, I, again, I encourage you to do that, to practice. You got to challenge yourself. And the idea here is stretch out your picking dynamic range to where you can get super feather light and then at the same time, you could take a, an overdrive part and just kill it with just power and make it sound huge. So you have the kind of... Alright guys, thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you next time.